Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you guys are new here But I have a feeling most of you are probably returning subscribers because today's video is going to be my everyday jewelry Where it's from I feel like I get so many questions about where my rings are from where my bracelets are from where my necklaces are from So I wanted to make this video so I could direct everybody to it and just go through everything And so if this isn't your cup of tea, don't worry I'm going to be doing like more normal vlogs and videos that I normally do on my channel to come uh, This is just going to be this video. So I figured I'll just like walk you guys through everything I guess I never really was a huge like jewelry person until I just honestly I just started like wearing rings and then I realized that I liked the look of them and then I stopped taking them off. I take them off sometimes to like clean them and things like that but my rings that I wear every single day I basically live with them on. I don't know if that's gross or not. The thing about jewelry though is that if you want it to be something you can truly live in it needs to be a certain quality. Found out one day I was like wait if I just invest in my jewelry it's not going to tarnish and my fingers won't turn blue and things like that. So I do have some pricier items in here by no means am I saying you know you this is what you have to wear like absolutely not. And I think jewelry is one of the things that I do invest in. I would say like definitely. I always invest in my accessories actually because I feel like they dress up an outfit so much. And also I think investing in jewelry like rings for example. I wear these rings every single day of my life. So it's worth the price in my opinion. Versus like a nice top or something that I'm probably only going to get a good few uses out of before. I've taken like a bajillion pictures in it and things like that, you know? Different strokes for different folks. Um, so nothing like, it's cool if that's not your thing and you don't believe in it. Um, but we're a judgment free zone on this channel. So no judgment. We'll start off with my rings. I'm just gonna like literally go through them and then I'll show you guys other jewelry. Also um, my nails, cause I feel like I'm gonna get some questions. These are the Impress Manicure Stick On Nails. I show them all the time in my vlogs. Um, yeah, my nails are pretty not great right now. And honestly, like they're not perfect. Like when you look at the sides and stuff, they're not, but from a distance, they look totally fine. They come in a bunch of fun colors and they stay on pretty well. I also bought nail glue, just in case one falls off, I could just re-glue it on. We're making the best we can do in this quarantine time, okay? So this is my right hand, the hand that I write with. And these are the rings that I have. Um, I don't wear any bracelets on this wrist, by the way. So I just have a hair tie right now. This is a slip hair tie. I love these, by the way. Um, and I will try to link as much as I can down below. So this first ring here, this is from my grandma. I got it for graduation from college. This is a Tiffany ring. I believe it's called the tea ring. Um, it's in rose gold. All of my uh, rings actually are in rose gold. Interesting, right? I just kind of started getting them in rose gold. So then I was like, all right, I guess I have to get the rest in rose gold. Not that there's anything wrong with mixing metals. In fact, I wear gold jewelry everywhere else, but I feel like rose gold just fits my skin tone well. I don't know, pretty random. So yeah, I love this ring. I got it purposefully in a bigger size than like a ring finger ring so that I could wear it on my pointer finger um, and things like that. Down here, I have my Cartier love rings. These are two that are stacked on top of each other. Um, I bought these each for myself, one when I finished my internship and then one for Christmas one year, I think, I don't know. Bought them for myself though, so I feel pretty proud of that. Um, and like I like the look of them stacked honestly like I used to just have the one I think it's beautiful as it is like these are just such incredible rings And I feel like these are really good investments too because you can layer them one day with your wedding band and things like that, too Obviously, they have great like dupes for things like this on Amazon I am NOT going to provide dupes in this video because I have in I haven't like gone through the process of finding the dupes But I know that they do exist and yeah, these are in rose gold as well Some days my rings are so loose like today. They're flying off of me, but then sometimes I'm like Ooh, like can barely pull them off. I guess it just depends. Um, I think that's like a sodium thing, right? How much salt you have in your system. Okay, then for my left hand, um, I do wear bracelets on this hand. I'll go through those after. Um, these two here, I think that Gretchen, my friend Gretchen on YouTube, I think we have the same stack now. It's so funny. We're so similar. This one below is from All Rate. I love All Rate, and their jewelry actually isn't crazy expensive. It's still like premium prices, but it doesn't tarnish. So keep that in mind. And then the ring above that is just a little diamond band, I guess, but it's only a half diamond band and that is from Jared. Um, and then the one in the middle here, I get a lot of questions about, it has a little B on it. And this is actually from Jennifer Fisher, which a lot of people get their hoop earrings, I know, and like other jewelry from them, but I just have this ring um, that my mom got for me for my birthday. I think that was my, my 21st birthday she got me this ring, so that was really special. So yeah, these are my rings that I live with on. Um, I do not take them off to shower. I sleep with them on, work out with them on. They just stay on, they strapped. I'm sure I'll switch them up one day, but for now. Then for bracelets, um, I pretty much only wear bracelets, I guess, on one hand. 
and I live with these ones on as well basically and then I just kind of add more to the stack as I see fit. These two little beaded ones, they're holding up really, really well. They're actually stretchy, which I really like. So I got like a small beaded one and then a medium beaded one. And these are from a brand called Belle Adar, I believe is the brand. I found it through Lauren Elizabeth. Um, love her jewelry, stuff like that. So, and these are pretty, um, I believe these are like middle tier pricing. Like it's not crazy, but I think I found a discount code. So I just have those two stacked. And then this other one here, I believe that this one is from Majuri. I get a lot of my little bracelets and things like that from Majuri. I have another one from Majuri right here. It's just like really pretty and dainty. It's so random though. Sometimes they tarnish, sometimes they don't. So um, keep that in mind. I just like like small bracelets and then I'll add into the stack some other things. These are two Hermes um, bracelets that I get a lot of questions about. Both of them I got matching with my mom so we like bought them for each other. Um, did we do that for Christmas this year or just because? I, don't, I honestly, I think it was for Christmas. I really, really like them. I think that they're so fun, like funk up a little outfit, but um, for every day they do get a little loud. So I just start, stopped wearing these every day, but they have these patterns. I don't think that they sell them online. Are the stores even open right now? Definitely not. So um, I don't know, but these are really great quality too. If you're looking for a nice, like high quality bangle, I would recommend Hermes. Um, and then just another bracelet while we're just on the topic, I guess, of bracelets. Um, I got this Christian Dior one that I wear quite often. Oh my gosh, can I hold it right? That I wear often that I got matching with my friends in New York. Um, I don't shower with this on. I don't sleep with it on this wood tarnish because it's not real gold. So keep that in mind. Um, but I love the look of like the thick chain like that. And I think stacked up with all that, it's super pretty. So big fan of this. Um, now we can go into necklaces. Um, I switch up my necklaces now. I used to wear this one every single day and I stopped wearing it as much. This is the Tiffany smile necklace. I get so many questions about this. Um, it is, it has like little diamonds on there too. And this is in rose gold. My mom got me this for college graduation. We usually do like nice jewelry for gifts just for reference. That's probably why you're like, oh my God, you're your mom buys you a lot of stuff. It's just for special occasions. And I think it's so special that I can look back and be like, this is for my graduation. Like that's from when I turned 21. Like that's so special to me. So yeah, I used to wear this every day, but now I've just been switching up the necklaces. I'll just give you guys, I guess, a few of my favorite places. Right now I'm rocking this little, I get a lot of questions about this one. Um, it's a little lock. This is from Adina's Jewel, Adina's Jewels, Adina's Jewelry. I also get all of my like nameplate necklaces from Adina's. They're really, really pretty. Love those. Yeah, actually a lot of the necklaces I've been repping these days, like this gold chain and this one, Ardina's, I do not shower with them on, so I don't really know if they tarnish. I believe that they would. For larger, more funky jewelry, I don't really wear this type of stuff anymore, but back in college, this was like the vibe. Um, all of this is from Suede and Stones. You guys can check out Suede and Stones. Um, she has a shop. I think it's just her website. She's great. Yeah, I feel like I just pick up random um, pieces here and there. Like this one is from Princess Polly. Okay, moving on to earrings. I don't really wear earrings that much actually, but I'm starting to get into it more. I have a botched earring like hole. So when I got my ears pierced, um, I think I was moving and this one's significantly lower than this one, but I don't wanna get it stitched up and like move it. I know that that's an option, but it just is lower. So I can't really wear anything too, too heavy. I do love a good hoop. I think it's really classy and fun. Classy and fun, do those go together? Um, so I'll show you guys some of my favorite hoops. Um, so the ones that I have in right now, these are new. They're just like the tiniest little hoop. These are from this brand called Monica Venator. I did an exchange with them because I got like a gift for my birthday in exchange because I really wanted a pair of these gold hoops and they are really cute and pretty if you're looking for small ones. I'll link that website down below. Um, I also have these middle size hoops, I guess. I used to wear these all the time to work. These are from Majuri and they're pretty lightweight. So if you're looking for like a brushed gold hoop, they're very pretty. These are like my flashy, more like gold gold hoops that I wear. They're from All Raid. I showed them in a video um, a while ago and they have like little indents on them. I think it's called the infinity hoop. Those are really pretty. They're like a perfect middle size. I also have these thin ones because sometimes you want like an understated look from Ana Luisa. They also have really good like middle of tier jewelry, I guess. Urban Outfitters actually surprisingly has good like little earrings and things like that. I wear these star ones sometimes with the paperclip. Those are from Suede and Stones. She's such cute stuff. I love to support like local sellers and things like that. So if you guys have Etsy's or whatever, hit me up. I'm down to try. Honestly, I think that's really it. It's not um, anything too crazy. I'd be happy to answer your questions in the comments and I could definitely link below if I'm forgetting any websites that I like to shop at but I wear the same rings every day. I pretty much wear the same bracelets. I'll wear in some more if I'm feeling crazy. 
earrings are usually a hoop if anything and then necklaces i guess is where i get kind of funky but this isn't even like a jewelry collection i guess of sorts but i don't know i hope this helps someone i just honestly wanted to do this video to direct people here for when people ask about my rings and things like that but i love you guys all so so much subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you all another time bye